Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to fold this particular style of bounce house combo. Double lane. It's going to be basically the same as any other combo. It's just a little bit going to be a little bit taller than the single lane when it's folded, but the basics will be the same. So the first thing we're going to do, turn the blower off. Once the blower is off, gonna undo the egg zipper. <laughs> then we get this side zipper. Fold these back and velcro them. Stay open. We're gonna get the front zipper. Same thing, make sure those are folded back. And lift it up. When you lift up on it like this, it'll allow it to collapse pretty quickly. And lose air as quick as possible. Give it a few seconds. And you can let go of it. Come over here. Undo the blower. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start to walk this thing out to get the air out of it. So we're going to want to set the camera down so that I can show you how we do that. How we're going to do that. Okay, the more air that you have out of it, the tighter it's going to roll, and the tighter it rolls, the easier it's going to be to deal with on the dolly and on the trailer and in storage. Uh, so now for the front. 
grab these cones, pull it over. We want this edge to come down and lay flat. Then you're gonna walk the air out of these. Then this top part, you can grab it, pull it over so that it lays down flat like this, and then walk it so that it gets as much air as possible out. Same thing on this side. Grab this one, pull it over, walk this air out. get all of this as flat as possible. Grab this top part, pull it over so that it's contoured like that, and then walk it down so that it's flat. Okay, then walk down the center piece, get the air out of here across the pool get all that air out and this part is gonna come back in walk that air out of this front bumper okay so now the whole thing pretty flat. Most of the air is out of it. And then as we fold it and roll it slowly, we'll get even more out. Okay. First thing, fold, step over. And if there's any air left in it, try to get it out. Okay. Right. Starting from this side, hold it in thirds. Stand on this edge. Stomp on this side to make it crease. Make your fold as straight as possible. And it's easier to grab it and pull it towards you than it is to grab it and push it away from you. It won't fold easily if you try to push it away. Same thing on this side. Grab it, pull it. Stomp on this set on this edge so that it creases and walk some more of this air out, making it crease. And keep the fold as straight as possible. So when you're done, it should look like this. Okay, then we just have to fold this front end. Okay, grab this side and fold it over. Make sure that this edge is straight 
from this end to that end. Otherwise, once you get it rolled, you'll have either a weird cinnamon roll shape or a weird bowl shape. So make sure it's straight. Make sure you walk as much of this air out as possible. Then the water hose is gonna go in here. and leave one end of it hanging out like this. Ideally on this side, because you want to try to make that side over here the tightest edge so that this can hang out and it's not dumping water inside of it. So then I'm going to take this side, do the same thing, fold it over. Get air out of it. And then, again, try to make sure that this edge is as straight as possible, going all the way up. So when you get down to the end of it, it should be straight on both sides from end to end, at least as close as possible. One side definitely needs to be straight because that's the end that you want that you're going to have to stand it on. So then... The next thing with these, it seems like the easiest way to roll these is to take the pool and fold it up like this. And then st step on it to crease it down. So about the, fold it about this far. All that water came out of the water hose because the water hose was up under it. And then we're gonna start rolling it from here. You're gonna hold, here, you hold this. You got it. These edges straight, hold straight. Then, Start to roll. And the tighter you start the roll, <clears throat> the tighter the roll will end up at the end. Grabbing it on the edge and pushing down on it as you roll it helps it stay tight. Otherwise, it wants to slip loose.
you get to the end, if you have air in it, somebody has somebody step on it and get all this air out. Or at least most of it. Then roll up over it again. And once you get to this point, just roll it. And roll back. And fold this edge over. You don't want anything showing but the black once it's done. your straps if you put your straps under before you roll it then it's easier you want your straps about this far from the end each end and the easiest way to do this type of strap is go up through it go over your hand and bring this loop through the bot over the top one and through the bottom one bottom d-ring so that you have a loop like this then grab the bottom side of that loop and pull it and make sure to keep this tail hanging at the top Same here. Keep this loose, makes it easier to undo them later. So now this end is pretty tight. This end is looser, which is to be expected. So this is the end that we'll stand it up on. Then, stand it up, slide your dolly under it, and you're good to go.